live from Q Talk America headquarters in Phoenix, Arizona. It's working it out with Ernesto and Gene. On today's show, we have one of your hosts, Gene Moore, the always outrageous Ray Howard, and I, for all intents and purposes, am straight Nate Evangelista. Who's working it out? We're, We're working, working it out. out. Who's working it out? We're working it out. Who's working it out? Not Ernesto. Whoa. Whoa. Don't do that. You quit. Or you do it f- over. Do it again. Do it again. Who's working it out? Not Ernesto. He sure ain't. Look at that. Can no. we get a shot? A shot of that chair it's of my sister. Chair. Sheriff Joe, um, Sheriff Joe, Ernesto done fucked up. Look at you! You see, all you see is an empty chair oh. because our sister Ernesto will not turn down a gig, and she worked a gig last night and got raided. And Sheriff Joe <laughs> done sucks. <laughs> our sister in comedy. You know you're supposed to have your papers on you at all times. All times. All bitch. times. Show me your receipts. Mm-hmm. Show me your receipts. You know what? I knew this was gonna happen because she doesn't turn down. A sh- you pay her fee, and she'll work any. She show. will work she anywhere. Will. Parking lot of Jack in the Box. That bitch <laughs> will stand up on that soapbox and perform. She mm-hmm. will. She'll mm-hmm. do it. Selling her tamales. Mm-hmm. Jokes. <laughs> Two tacos, I'll do perform for you. Mm-hmm. We're gonna have to make some free Ernesto shirts. <laughs> oh, that would be cute. <laughs> it I is. like a V neck. I know. <laughs> of course. Can I get no. one more shot of my sister's empty chair? She's not here today, but she's always with us. Let's wave at her. Hi, Ernesto. Hi, Ernesto. We hope you get. Ooh. What was that? That yeah. was not Ernesto. <laughs> that was not. <laughs> Ernesto's in jail right now. When she came in, that's the noise that they made. Because there's a queen of comedy coming. And you know she's going to get skinny in the jail. Oh, yes, she is. You think they're going to let her go? I don't know. Unless she crawls underneath. Oh, like Digs when she came home. to America the yeah, first yeah. time? Mm-hmm. So how are you doing, Jean? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I had a great week. How was your week? My week was excellent, eh? I would. Let's start with Monday. How did it go on Monday? Monday didn't do much. <laughs> I don't know why you want to start with Monday. Let's start at Wednesday then. Let's start at Wednesday. How was your Wednesday? Um, it was all right too. What'd you do on Wednesday? Seriously, honestly, I really want to know what you did on Wednesday. Wednesday, I checked out the hidden house because uh, I'd never been there before. It was a decent open mic. Okay. Um, okay. Small ceilings, intimate. So I checked that out. It was fun and uh, it was good. That's over by my neck of the woods. Mm. It's in my neighborhood. That's the gay neighborhood. Yeah, the Anthony DeSamito performs over there a lot. Yeah, I saw him there. You saw him? Did you wave to him? Did you say hello? I did. Okay. I see him a few times. It was the first time I was like, right. hey, so I think you're funny, and I introduced myself. So we actually officially so met. So you're leaving us? <laughs> you're meeting new gays. You're meeting new gays? You're seeing other gays? I don't know how to put this, you guys, but you're not the only gay guys I know. Oh, oh. no. We I'm won't be sorry. having that. <laughs> we won't be having that. We need a list. You know what? Uh, I want to say on Wednesday, I was at Jackson's, and it was it started out I really. That was so good. I it, it. You know, it was fun. It, yeah. was re- it was the first time I've had fun in a long time. Mm-hmm. I have mean, always had fun, but I mean, this was awesome. It started out a little rough, a little rough, and then uh, thank God, Sean. I just love Sean so much because he's like, I don't know what that was, but you're gonna get your shit together <laughs> and you're gonna go back in there. You're gonna turn this around. He's like, I turn her because I'm like, no, I don't know if I can do it. Find your ass, find, find your ass. And you know what? He was right. I went in there and I'm like, he's like, do all different stuff, do new stuff, and it was and it worked. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And so it was really fun. It was, I think he's I forgot they changed it to Wednesdays. Yeah, because it was Thursdays. This is the first time it was Wednesday. That's right, right, right. right. And then, so the comedy spot is changing the schedule. So yeah. Wednesday it'll be that, and then uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday instead of the Sunday mm. show. So to make it easier for the headliners, because a lot of times they go back and they have to be on set for whatever show they're doing on Monday. Mm. So it showbiz, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Mm. That was a jealous. Mm. 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 That's a read. <laughs> That's a read. This weekend, though, at the comedy spot, you'll be glad to know it is uh, Diaz Mackey, which you performed last night. I did. Uh, that was amazing. It um, was. You did really well. I think I really turned the corner in the last couple of months as far as I used to be so about listening to myself, mm-hmm. but now I listen to everybody else. I listen mm. to the crowd and uh, just You just discovered that comedy is about making people laugh and not yourself. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker. No. <laughs> no, I will tell you right now. And you were, I mean, it was really cool. At first I was nervous because, you know, whenever people go off script and it, they're mm-hmm. just starting, it's it's nerve wracking. I'm like, oh my God, you know what I mean? It is. Even it's for, so live and that. it's real and it's, can you go, it could go either way. Definitely. And, and you, I mean, you did it and you did it well. And I was like, but there's a few times I'm like, I got I to gotta leave the room. It was so tense. You know what I for mean? For me or others? For me. No, like when I was up there, you yeah, had to leave? Yeah, yeah, it was tense. Really? I had to go back and eat a french fry, a hot dog, whatever. Yeah. I ate that old pizza the last open mic night. Yes, you did. Yes, you <laughs> did. He did really well. Yeah. I was worried yeah. for nothing. I was worried for nothing. Give it up for my friend. Thank you. Straight Nate. Straight Nate. I almost him. forgot his name. He's sitting right here next to really? me. Really? This is... 
That hurt a little bit, Ray. I, I thought know. we were boys. I, you, you blame my head, not my heart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your head is uh, questionable right now. <laughs> so really you've had is. quite the week, let alone the last 12 hours. <sighs> So Can I tell him about head? How about your your head was in my head at my at my apment this morning? <laughs> okay, so last night it was a rough week at work. We Wait, let's know. let's start it for your segment. We do we'll start that. Just tell me in general how was your week in general? <laughs> it was decent. It was decent. <laughs> it was nothing exciting. What was the best? Thing? Oh no, we um I had a dinner party. We watched our RuPaul's Drag Race finale. Uh, was that Monday? Yes, it was Monday. Okay. I drink a lot of wine there too. Yeah, and I was happy with the out, out, outcome. Of I it. was too. I, I really, really like her. It's I like Jinx Jim Monsoon. Monsoon. Oh. Water off a of duck's back. Yes. <laughs> okay, water off a. Of, do you know anything about Drag Race? No, I, d- I know that the show exists, but I've never seen it. Oh, it's a good show. You will get into it, okay? Whatever. It's good. We will have you quoting lines from not on tonight. I don't know. Yeah, mm-hmm. I know. You know what I like about it? Because it's like it goes, it's like Project Runway, because mm-hmm. they have to make their outfits, mm-hmm. and then they have to tell jokes, and then they have to sing, then mm-hmm. they have to dance. They have, These bitches have to do a lot in a and little bit of time. They have to make their own outfits. Well, it doesn't seem necessary. <laughs> it doesn't seem necessary. <laughs> you got to be a seamstress on top of everything else? You, you do. do. You have to do everything when you, you want do. to dress. You have to be a seamstress. You have to be funny. You have to be. It's called uh, you have to be clever. You have to be unique. What's the end? Nerve. Nerve. And you have to have talent. Talent. You got to be a mm. cunt to deliver <laughs> it. <laughs> That's what RuPaul says, and she gets away with it every mm-hmm. week, so it's good. it was good. You know, on Monday, we were here um, with our sister show. We signed an alliance with the Gaberhood Friends with Ophelia Buns and Bryce. And That's Bryce, a drag queen. Bryce. The Gaberhood Friends. Yes. And, of course, Ophelia, she's so professional. She's so always on point. And Bryce, he is so cute in person. Who's Bryce? <laughs> Oh, is it the little one? No, he's not, he's tall. Is he okay? He's like I, like, I was just trying to remember from the last show she did. He's tall. He's mm. really tall and he's really handsome. Did you not do the show where you came in? No, I, I did. Oh, well, show. Bro, it was, but it was before Bryce. It was. He it just was. became the co-host. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So we are now in a joint venture. We're going to join together, and so that is our sister show, and so uh, we're going to you know work with them on that. Excellent. It's hot in the studio. Isn't? Want me to open the door for well, you? I just want to get my chest hair. Out. I can't give you on camera. So, Ray, what else happened with you? You drinking wine? On Monday. Is there ever a day where you don't have the wine? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my trash is always clinking when I'm taking it to the, uh, <laughs> the dumpster. Always a few bottles in there. You know, I the, like wine. Okay, I like juice. Okay? Yeah. Know. You know what? But most people drink their juice through, like, Welch's or orange juice. <laughs> it's grape juice. With vodka. It, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's a special punch. You know what it reminds me? You ever see that movie, The First Wives Club with Goldie Hawn? And oh, it, yeah. And like that's that. her, and she goes and they she, they see her <laughs> trash can. It's <laughs> all bottles. Okay. That's all it is. All bottles. That's I'm what. envious of her. Yeah, you know? I am. Too. I don't do, have the space. Do you want me to open the door? Uh, is it, no. Is it, well, <laughs> we can't open I'm, the door. It needs to be soundproof. Let's do this. Well, let's. It, it'll get a tad echoey. That's Eric. But it, but it will be much cooler. We're gonna keep going. Let's out power we'll through. We're professionals right. here. We'll, we'll power through. I I can do it. I can okay. do it. I I drank last night. That's why I'm worried. Well, we're gonna we're go gonna, right in. We're gonna roll into uh, Ray well, House of Weather with Ray. Can we set him up proper? <laughs> Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. He's awesome. He's crazy. He's unpredictable, and we love it. We do. We love it. Mr. Ray Howard. Yay! Ray, how's the weather? Shady. Shady? Oh, why is it shady? Why is it shady? Because a bitch likes to drink, and I... <laughs> I know my limits, but last night I drove past them. You sure yeah, did. No, you went Jesus. back past the limits. We, we were supposed them. to go to the Pink Rhino last night. Is it a Pink Rhino? Yes, it is. It's a local uh, ladies dance club. Where ladies, the ladies dance club? Well, it's a strip club, okay? These bitches get on the pole and they swing around mm. and make it clap. And we were supposed to go, me and my friend Bridget. But, um, you enjoy oh, that? shit. You enjoy going You done hung out with a white girl. You know this oh, ain't no, going to turn no, out no, right. No, she ain't white. She ain't white. What is she? She's black. She's black. And her name is Bridget? Bridget. Is she for real black? Or yeah, like, she is. I got is, a picture of her. Like you want to see the picture? You want to see the picture? She's for real black, and her name is Bridget. Bridget Br- the black. Br- Bridget Johnson. Oh, okay. okay now, that does oh. bring her up. She, she does smokes Newports. <laughs> yes. She smokes Newports, and she likes to. She can make a mean oxtail. Okay. It checks out. It checks out. I love oxtails, too. Oh, God, it's so fucking good. Okay, yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ray just I am head. still drunk, okay? I know I, you are. <laughs> I, um, I drank a bottle of wine this big, this big before I went out last mm-hmm. night. And um, Nathan, what before you, got, you went out. What do you got to say about this? 
And Just uh, a hot mess. I'm letting it ride. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm a grade A certified hot mess stamped on my backside. Yes, mess. but you know what? You're a professional because you weren't scheduled to do the show today. And at the last minute, That's right. Kenny, the great Kenny Beam, give it up for Kenny Beam. We yeah. love him so much. Emergency. It was an emergency. He got bit by a dog and he had a last minute abortion. Yes. He had an abortion at the he last got minute. Bit in the ass. And he did. Oh, he I got bit. So he abortion. couldn't do it. So I called up Ray and I kept calling and then you answer the phone and I'm like, Ray, Ray. And he was like, bitch, I just got up. <laughs> and what yeah. time was that? Oh, this was like at 10. 10.45. Okay, I was supposed to be at the comedy spot for class this morning. Yes. And um, I was like, oh, I got class. And then I go to the clock at 10 o'clock. Oh, ooh, it's 10.45. I guess I ain't going to make it. I know. I know. But I called you and I said, just come over. We need you to come do the show. I don't know. I said, just come over to the house. So you came over to the house. My boyfriend opened the door, <laughs> and Ray said, "Move out of the way!" <laughs> and he ran immediately into my bathroom and puked. Uh huh. And then he said, "Is there a little bit of pee behind this toilet? It's a toilet we don't ever you, use." You know what? We're uh, family, yes. and it doesn't matter. Yes. Because you told Chris today, he was like, "See, Chris, this is why we always gotta keep it clean. You could have had shit splattered on that toilet. I don't <laughs> care." Okay. I know. What's so funny? The Nathan, only no, thing yeah. that I probably would have said is, "You need to get this checked out because your stool ain't right." <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's a little too lumpy and a little green. Okay. <laughs> oh my god! Out of this, I come out of the bathroom, you know, and I didn't know. I kind of heard the dogs going crazy, so I I'm in the bathroom and I leave and I see Ray on the floor <laughs> but it's so odd to me yeah. it's so odd to me that I don't even question it I'm like <laughs> like I guess like the first is, time that I'm, doesn't make any it's so it's odd like, to you that you don't see you know what it's like to me I, the only way I could describe it would be like the first time Indians saw pilgrims coming to America like they didn't even know how to put it in their mind she's reaching yes I am reaching but anyways, <laughs> I see Ray on the floor and I'm like why would Ray be on my floor and then I go to see Chris and then he's like your friend's in there puking. <laughs> oh, he went pukey Brewster. Yeah, and I could hear it. And then I'm like, do you want some juice? I did the puke voice. Do you want me to pull your hair back? <laughs> mm-hmm. just, just pull it up into my little ponytail here. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was rough. It was rough. Yeah. It is. I am on Pepto-Bismol right now because whenever I drink, I get the liquid shits after I drink. You mm. Ray. There's TMI. And, was that, and, and did I go too far? Well, I'm glad you didn't do that in my house. No, 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 no. You would have cleared it. You would have <laughs> left me. You clean that fucking bathroom when you're done, bitch. Okay? You scrub that toilet. Bobby Dearest. <laughs> <laughs> so aside from the bodily functions, mm-hmm. how are you doing? I got a headache right now, <laughs> but I'm looking cute, so it's okay. Yeah, you got to cleaned up there. Mm-hmm. You got the fade, she fresh did my fade. Hair and You're a professional. You do it. Was that the same girl that did your hair? Was the one you that, Bridget? So what happened? Uh, you went with this black girl, Bridget. Yes, uh, she got. I like calling her black girl, Bridget. She, she got <laughs> black girl, Bridget black Johnson. Black girl, Bridget. Um, black girl, Bridget. Bridget. You know what, we were supposed 3B. to go to the Pink Rhino because we were supposed to have a birthday party with a friend of ours, uh-huh. and um, she got the dick text, and so she was like, "Girl, I got to leave you." I was like, "Okay, you get yours, boo," because I I heard that he could really eat a coochie, mm. so that's. That's why she left me. <laughs> she was like, just come with me to the gas station. Let me pump some gas and I will drop you off. Okay. And that's what she did. I oh. walked into Charlie's, got one drink, and then I woke up in my bed. That's all I remember. You could have committed I, a crime last I night. Had a, I had a sore throat this morning. I am really praying. Really? <laughs> I'm going to church on the front row tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> Lord Jesus. What do you think the percentage chance is that you were roofied last night? You know, I tend to roofie myself. So <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. I also had that old Viking in because I got lower back pain. Right, okay? right. I worked last night. Now, Ray, so I done told you about these drugs. I it's, know. It's, they're mine. With, they're with prescribed the to me. Yeah, I drink. Well, I took the Viking in with uh, some. You fucking around with white people shit. With, with, uh, with a beer. And then I. That's white people. That's Cindy be- McCain shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you fucking around <laughs> Cindy be, McCain I'm, shit. I'm foaming at the mouth in a minute. Yeah, I am yeah. because I had to take that Pepto What do you think of your sister? I mean, my God. I just I don't have a problem. Okay. I mean, it this seems is not, to be. We are not reading Raymond well, again. No, okay. no, 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 we're not reading Raymond. that once before. Yes, okay. I'm putting home. it. I'm putting it in the bank. <laughs> yes. I will be making withdrawals. <laughs> yes, I got it. Because I, mm-hmm. I made a lot of deposits in the bank. I get what you're saying. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, but that your floor was really cool. It felt really. I could have <laughs> stayed there. You could have gave me a pillow. I keep bumping my head into this microphone. <laughs> I, know. Um, I know. You could have gave me a pillow. I a was just embarrassed though because you came over so fast. We didn't even get to make the bed. And that's my worst fear ever, <gasps> ever that my bed isn't made. No. It is because here's the deal. I always tell Chris, everyone, because in the beginning when we first started dating, he said, uh, "Why do we need to make our bed? We're just gonna get it dirty again." I'm like, "Bitch, bitch! <laughs> oh, if our house know. is on fire and the firemen come in, they're not gonna be like, oh, these bitches is nasty.'" <laughs> 
You know, made. I, I need actually, my bed made every night. I was reading uh, on Facebook that if a dirty bed prevents bed bugs, so I don't have bed bugs because my bed is never made. I would say it again because yeah, it's, con- it's opposite from how I think. You're saying a dirty bed prevents bed bugs. Yes. How is that? I don't know. But that's a story. I'm gonna stick that, to it because I don't ever make my bed. You do? Do you wash your sheets? I do wash my. I don't. I don't get under my sheets. I always sleep on top of my comforter. Oh, so you don't have to make it because you don't it's ever bo- make it home and <laughs> pull the covers it's, back. It's, it's a black comforter, and there are okay. suspicious stains on there. So I do have to <laughs> Nasty. wash. Nasty. I know. Clean your know. shit, man. Well, I know. I've never. What if you have a the- Jennifer, I mean, like a gentleman caller, come over. What do you gentleman mean? caller? Um, we just do it on the couch. Raymond, I don't bring no. I don't bring anybody into my bed. You no, because I have my that's laptop. your sacred place. That's my sacred place. Yes, and my mother sleeps in that bed sometimes too. Oh. I pro- but I did watch the comfort when <laughs> she came to visit. Oh okay. my God, Miss Lane, I'm so Hopefully sorry. Hopefully, Jacqueline. Oh yeah, yeah, Miss okay. Lane. Mm-hmm. <sighs> well, okay. Well, that was that. So, mm-hmm. Ray, I, I just want to say I don't think that's true at all. The dirtier bed is no. L- l- that's it, was on, it was on Facebook, so it was oh, true. Well, let me excuse me. Thank you, Eric. You got my back. Yes, I'm gonna tell you this though. That sounds well. No, no it's no, not true. It's no, not true. No, it's no. Like, no. I can't even frame it or put it <laughs> do in it. to make it cute or do to it. try it. Do it. Go there. No, no, no. Okay. No, I'm not do going it, go there. there. I'm not gonna go there. You're I'm just saying go that you're you're gonna mess around and get bed bugs. Mm-mm. I don't know. What, I clean my sheets all the time, but I don't ever make my bed. Oh, you gotta make your bed. You gotta make your bed because every a night a clean bed attracts a vagina. Okay. No, you know what? Because here's how I think, and it may be the Mexican in me, but you gotta shake away them old dreams to bring on some new ones. Come on now, you got <laughs> that's Mexican. Okay? About, no, that's some like hippie Native American Uh-oh. even like you dreams. Got, I mean, you have a dream catcher. Well, you know what? When you go to dream and when you sleep at night, all your dreams and everything is there in the sweat, and the sh- you gotta shake that shit out. Mexicans are notoriously your... clean. You mm-hmm. know, notoriously mm-hmm. clean. Okay, you know, I didn't know this. Your and, dreams are in your sheets. They're not in your head. Well, they can be there too, but you know, Ernesto. Please don't fact check this episode, people. Just I saw it on Facebook. It's on Facebook, so <laughs> this shit is true. I tell you this though, Ernesto, he's got a clean house, even though of she's course. not there because she has a maid. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ernesto has a maid. I want to be that status, okay? Yeah. Have a bitch come in and clean my place for me. I don't yeah. know if I would trust a maid on the west side where he lives. Ooh. That's what Ray said when he found out. cleaned like, out. How are you going to be Mexican and have a maid? You're, You're supposed, supposed to do that. That's what a Mexican does. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Mexicans. Yes. Well, but that's what they do, okay? They clean. And when my best friends came to visit me a couple years ago. Were they Mexican? Yes. Okay, mm. those bitches had me scrubbing baseboards with a toothbrush. Yes, okay? with a fabuloso. Because I don't want them to read me when they got right, there. Right, with a fabuloso. That's mm. what we clean. Right? That's <laughs> some good shit. That, that is some good shit. That will you clean can, a bathroom, You okay? can put it in your bathroom. You can put it in your sinks. Mm-hmm. You can put it in your laundry. If you got shit swirls in your toilet, it will clean that too. Fabuloso is the shit. It's that fabulous. fabuloso. Mm. Going with the wind fabuloso. And yeah. it comes in three flavors. Don't get it twisted. No, no. Don't get it twisted. I like the blue. I don't think flavors. That's the only Lavender. one. Yeah. Scents. You don't taste them. They're not flavors. Uh, well, we drink it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the fuck. No, fabuloso. you can. If you mix it with the right ingredients, you can make meth with it, I'm sure. <laughs> Can't you? The Mexican oh, meth. Oh, this this meth smells minty fresh. Mm. Oh God, mm. just lavender. It's fabulous. Mm. So that's the base. You know that takes me back to my drug days. <laughs> when we used to do drugs. We used to do this drug called ketamine, uh-huh. and it's an elephant tranquilizer. And uh, you know, it's, is, is it, is it? yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you for being on point. <laughs> gotcha. gotcha. And uh, we used to be trying to be cute and flavor it because we got bored just doing elephant tranquilizer. <laughs> now, that, was, that was K, right? They yeah. call it K. You they got call it bored K. just yeah. doing ele- elephant tranquilizer. Yeah. And if Ernesto was here, he would shut me down right now. He would not let me talk about this. But bitch, you ain't here yeah. today. <laughs> so go tell that. We're running away with the show today, bitch. <laughs> yes. Ain't that right, Ernesto? Oh no, you can't agree. Okay, bye. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what you do agree or not? Okay. No, but here's the thing, because you know, gays, we always gotta take it to the next level. It's not enough mm-hmm. to do elephant tranquilizer <laughs> and to so. get all messed up. No, we had a bitch said, "Bitch, let's <laughs> put some cinnamon in this shit and give it cinnamon flavored." Yeah. And it was, yeah, yeah. Now How do you, you even sn- do it? Do you, do you, you snort it. You snort it. It's, it's a, a liquid powder? form. It's a liquid form, and then you bake it. And then you crack out the elephant tranquilizer that oh yeah. wow i never did it i never did <laughs> I it but i walked out of a bar a few times and i've seen people with the white ring around their nose yeah I'm like, these are some that regular bitches. cocaine well you no. think some that's how it happened to me by mistake it was completely and this again is in the past this is this <laughs> is many years i do not condone drug use mm-hmm. i'm just telling you what a bitch has been through <laughs> it's gonna be in my book 
called Something Inside Me Burns. This is the <laughs> chapter called Messed Up. Yeah. <laughs> it's but a long chapter. It's a long <laughs> chapter. That's the entire book. <laughs> See, it's one chapter. It's one chapter. <laughs> one chapter. But um, <laughs> no, I was at a party once and, and I was getting tired. I'm like, I want to go home. Like when we were at Pride, you know, I'm telling okay. Ernesto, I want to go home. And you know how bitches like, we're not oh, going no, home. No, yeah. We're not going. I'm going to meet this guy and this guy's coming soon. I'm like, so, uh, and he goes, here, I'm going to give you a bump of Coke. Oh, I never done Coke. And then he <laughs> goes, here, just take it. And instead, it was elephant tranquilizer. Ooh, I was messed Sounds up. Sounds like it. But like elephant tranquilizer, I would assume, is meant to take down an elephant. And you're not. No. The clear. Well, that's why you bake it. You reduce some of the uh, properties of the chemicals. Let me tell you here. something. <laughs> you don't, Walter White over here. You don't know high. Like, I, I know high. high. Like, so. Girl, I've been so high sometimes that I have to drink Tang because I think I'm on the move. <laughs> Bitch is confused. Oh, I'm just. Right. Look at the city. Yeah, I know. So that's how high you are. Yeah. And you are sad because you know what? Here's the thing. Yeah, what is it like being on there? If you fuck around with white people, this is how high you get. Eric. <laughs> they will get you really high. Eric is white. I know he's does white. It puts you down. Huh? Elephant tranquilizer. It, it, it does this. It's it's uh, uh you, you it's like closing your eyes and like being in that movie Tron <laughs> times ten. Oh, like you from nineteen eighty one or the new one. Um, the old one and the new oh. one. It could be that. Or you see a lot of designs. Like in my mind, I was designing Gu- uh, those Gucci purses. I'm like, oh, this is a design for Gucci. <laughs> this <laughs> is a design for my. I was like, oh, this is how I'm going to redo my bathroom. Oh, I, I kept saying, I got it. I got Because shit comes clear to you. You don't know what it is, but it is comes. It just well, stinky, you, know, you think it's clear to you? Or you, you actually. You know, we should do a special case show. <laughs> when we get you. Oh, I'm not doing <laughs> that do fucking shit. Elephant tranquilizer? Fuck. No. <laughs> See, that's the difference between the straights and the gays. Mm-hmm. We oh. we take shit into the next level. I, I've, I've never done anything other than weed. And I've only tried it once. Well, based on how you drink alcohol, that's probably a good Obviously, thing. Obviously, you do Vicodin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and the Vicodin is prescribed to me, okay? That, uh, I'm not going to buy it, but I know where I can get it. That's the American okay. mentality right yes. there. <laughs> Thank you, Cindy McCain. You got an RX for it, so it's not a problem. <laughs> exactly. It's yeah. a prescription mm. from 2006, mm. but I'm still going to take it. <laughs> Probably why I was laying on your bathroom floor this morning. You know that has an expiration date on it, right, yes, bitch? Yes, you know that, right? Yes, the chemical properties of it have diminished over the three years that I've had it in that drawer. Well, you should believe bump it. And I bump it up with the seven alcohol. Years. It's actually <laughs> seven years. I hate to be Is the it? mathematical Asian here, but if you go 06 to count, 13. But let's talk about some bitches who really can't count. Let's do oh, it. we already done did this. You done did that one again? Well, you talking about where I overcharged your credit card? But it was, it was a mistake, Ray. You lucky I had the money in my account because <laughs> I could have been real embarrassed at the comedy spot in that line. Scars and for you to go denied, you mean you ain't got twenty dollars in your account? Y'all you know what? You read it for two hundred. We're gonna get read on my math. Well, pardon my math. I'm sorry. Here's the thing: um, we have a viewer that wrote us another letter because we have a segment that we call Sound Advice, and I want to know if you can read it. But can you bring me up proper? And it's letter number two. Bring me up proper. Where is that from? That's that's how my family speaks. Well, that's from a movie. Is it? They got it from a movie. Mm-hmm. Well, you just think about it, Miss Vicodin. You just sit there and you think about. <laughs> I'm a ponder. Mm-hmm. All right, here comes the second. When you're in crisis, you need advices. Yes. Here it is Sound yes. Advice with Gene Moore. Thank you. Thank you. Again, this is another segment that we've been testing out called Sound Advice. And so, Sound Advice, we don't reveal the name, we just reveal the letter. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to give you the answer. So, and I've been told by the producer not to talk about the setup too much. So we're just going to go right to the letter. <laughs> Thank you keep, for uh, keeping us on point, Eric. Yes, Eric Carroll. Oh, let me button up my shirt. Okay. That's Bitch, it ain't help. about you. I'm getting ready to help somebody oh. that somebody needs help, Ray. Okay, we're going to help her. Okay. Dear Jean Moore. Yes. I go to work every day. Every day. I have practically perfect attendance and always give 110%. Stop. Go back. Did she say practically Yes, she did. Okay, that's the first thing. Okay, go ahead. Okay, okay, go ahead. Okay. Despite all I do, I recently found out one of my coworkers just got a substantial raise, exclamation point. I feel I am worth more, but I don't know how to go about asking for it. Another exclamation point. Mm-hmm. Gene mm-hmm. Moore, I need your wisdom. Right. That's an exclamation point. How do I approach my boss about a raise or promotion? Okay. Question mark. Okay. Here's Sincerely, desperate yet deserving. 
desperate and deserving. Here, so let me say this. Path. The first thing that I'm attracted to right away is that you're practically on time. Mm. A bitch has something in common <laughs> with you. Because I'm practically on time every day. Uh-huh. But let me just tell you this. First, um, I love to get all your letters. I love to help people. That's my thing. It's, I'm always in service to my country. That's why I signed up for the Army. I don't ever stop serving my country. And the thing I want to tell you is this is white people shit. And I don't get involved in white people shit. If your job isn't working well, you get another job. And let me tell you something. That is that's white people shit. You just worry because here's the thing. How do you find out how much your coworker is making? How does that conversation happen? You know what I mean? You're supposed to go to work, just get your money, do your thing, and go on and, and do stay your, in life. your lane. Stay in your lane. <laughs> you got out of your lane, and now you're all jacked up. And that's why you ain't got no raise. That's why you ain't got no raise. That's exactly right. right. Stay in your no, lane. You had to shut the fuck up. Yeah. And just mind your own business. You would have got a raise. That's how the the Mexican inside me yes, wants to answer because yeah. I'm half half English, half Mexican. Now the white in me is saying this is rubbish. <laughs> 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 this is rubbish <laughs> and i'm gonna tell you right now what i would do because i'm white half white what i would do is i would set this bitch up i would put alcohol in her trash can <laughs> i would put some porno some it's gay sabotage. porno i would look up hot gay sex on her computer or his computer when they walked away and leave it running and then tell my boss uh whatever let's say her name is jackie no that's your mama that's name. my mama's we name we won't go do that say it's helen you go to the boss that's my aunt's name we're not gonna do that one either <laughs> okay. find another one All right. do ethel. it uh ethel Okay, I ain't got no family. Okay, I tried that. to go with the white that one. Okay, yeah. so I'm gonna go to my boss. I'm gonna say, boss, Ethel wants you at her cube. Go to her cube <laughs> right now. And then there goes your boss. And then she walks up. Ah! Oh my retinas! And because she's seen hot gay sex, and that bitch is gonna be put out, fired, and twisted and gone. And that that don't work. Then the other thing is, you still stay in the lane. You mm-hmm. keep your mouth shut because when you go to work, you're not supposed to be in everybody's business. You're supposed to mind your business. And so you just a person like that is going to put them out selves out there and they're going to get themselves fired. You know, so you're saying um, rather than improve yourself, you just take down those around you. Half of me, half of me wants to say that. <laughs> the other half is say who gives a fuck? Mm-hmm. Who gives that's white people shit. Uh, it's a recession, bitch. You got a job. Keep working. Yes. Okay, that's what I do. Yes. That's my that's my business. That's what I do too. I stay and out I'm, of white cuz here's the thing. The, you learn this the hard way as a person of color. You learn this the hard way not mm, to get involved in white mm, people's shit cuz mm. Happens because they fight so hard oh, and yes. so weird. Because then you're like, they fight, and then you you just say, they say, hey, can you believe Becky did this? Oh my god! And you're like, no, I can't believe that sounds bitchy. And the next thing you know, they're friends, and you're the one on the way out. Yeah, because mm-hmm. they're in a, they live in a white bubble. Okay, mm-hmm. we don't have our bubble. Our mm-hmm. bubble was burst when we came out. Okay, mm-hmm. it don't exist. We just live as and what we get. And this is an at will state. Okay, right. will to work. State. Thank you for reminding me. And that's why they make elephant tranquilizers uh, yeah, <laughs> to take a bitch away. But also, I would say that letter. If you're always on time, like there's more to the job. The bitch said yeah. practically. That, that, that disclaimer. Means, <laughs> yeah. She comes in one to two minutes. Like, <laughs> the boss is re- seeing that. Yes. She pulls up her attendance record. But right. This bitch is late again. Mm-hmm. I'm saying if you're on time every day, though, it's assuming that she is. Right. Obviously, you suck while you're there. If, if someone else right. is coming in late and, and right. doing a better job, right. and you see, right. look at yourself, see what you're doing. Right. That's what Nate got, was saying. We got that going on right now. The girl came in. Look she's in only mirror. been there for three months. She became employee of the month, and the other drafter was pissed off because she's been there a year and a half. You know why, bitch? Because don't nobody like your ass. Okay? Right. You in everybody else's business. Okay? Right. Stay in your own lane. Stay in your own lane. Stay in your lane. And stay, stay out of white own. people's shit. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you what. If you stay in your own lane and stay out of white people's shit, you'll be the president of the company. Hello? <laughs> you will be the Hello? president. Well, you probably won't be because you're not white, but Ooh. you can move up. Half white, so he'll be uh, vice president. Yes, I will. Uh-huh. But, you know, I don't give a fuck. You have to have a, I don't want to be here. I don't care. Everything you say is dumb. Mm-hmm. And stay in your own lane. Mm-hmm. That's my advice. Stay out of white people. That's the last thing my mama told me before, you know, she was not don't talk to strangers. Not, you know, don't play with the goats. It would be <laughs> don't get in white people's shit. Where, where were these goats? Well, we had goats where I grew up. But that's another segment. <laughs> pets turn into food real quick. Ray, you didn't have any pets at your house. We're Mexican. That's what we had. We I, I had, had a dog. A dog. <laughs> okay, well, a let me tell you what dog. I had. A dog. Let me I tell you what is no your dog's goats. name, Ray. His name was Alex. And then we had to put him to sleep. I had him for 12 years. That was sad. And then I had Chunky and Henrietta. And they ran away. And I got tired of taking care of them. So I never went and filed them. I just Ray. let those dogs go. <laughs> Ray, let me tell you what I had. I, I had, had not even lied about that shit. They ran away. And I was just like, ugh. Oh. 
well, mm. goodbye. Ray, I had a pet goat, and they gave it to me when I was young. Nacho. And I named that goat Nacho. And Nacho. I loved the shit out of Nacho. That was my friend. That was my only mm. friend. And it was like this. How friendly were you with this goat? Not as friend. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> That's why you taking white people's drugs all <laughs> fucked up on my fucking floor, <laughs> puking your ass out. Was that goat warm? <laughs> no, but no, it was my friend. It was your friend. It was my well, friend. I'm sure he was. You don't know what it's like to be I'm Mexican sure and poor in the fields. I know what it's like to be black and poor. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. anime. Right. So <laughs> anyways, I had this. Find ba- your ass. I had this. Nathan, I had this goat, and I put a dog well, collar on it, and you could hear it coming. Settle down, Puka Skywalker. But then my, my uncles, they one day we were eating dinner and they're like gene um do you want some more tacos i'm like yeah because i was like eight and i was loving it and i'm like "Mm, this is so good they're like do you want some more i'm like yeah i love it and then my uncle he pulls up the dog collar and he said how do you like eating your friend nacho (gasps) they done it killed my dog they i ate nachos that was was awful that's an awful story okay i ate that's horrible that you ate your goat i ate my goat you ate your goat was it good it was, was damn was good. Was seasoned well? <laughs> goat. You know, Mexi- like, oh, we like, cooked that shit. Yeah, I, know, it was, it was, I know, know it was falling off the bone. <laughs> you really like, was. I love you, Nacho, but shit. Was, <laughs> wasn't there another goat they could have used? I know. No, the, I think it was always this, this thing to cure my gay because they've always been like, trying to cure my gay. So to cure your gay, you ate goat. You know, it would be better for me to I eat thought, pussy, but these people are <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I'm just saying. You ate goat to cure your gay. Right. How did that work out for you? Not so good. <laughs> <laughs> Not so good. You know what? I think this is a good time. Ernesto, if you were here, you'd probably say, let's pay some bills. Let's pay some bills. Let's pay some bills. Yeah. And let's do the copy. And I'm going to look at you to see if you have the copy. And so I our never sp- have the copy. Our sponsor this week, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it myself. I got this. I got this. Oh, Jesus. Can you bring it up on the computer? Because my sister. You know he can't read. Give it to somebody else who can read. Okay, then you read it, bitch. Oh, you know, I, that bike, man. Okay, <laughs> you read it. <laughs> Audible.com is our sponsor. You can get a free audiobook if you go to audibletrial.com slash Reading. America Reading for a 30-day free trial. Reading Audible.com, they will read your books to you if you can't read or if you're doing something or you can't look at a book. Like puking <laughs> on Gene Moore's floor yeah. because it bitch. was a cool floor. Yes. Your floor felt Audio. amazing. Audio.com is our subject at hand. Mm-hmm. What is what else, Nathan? Have you, this is a good website though. My boyfriend got this free book, and we get the put the promo code Did you in there. Of gray? No, why would we read that? We've lived that. That's, oh, you know what I'm saying. Mm. What is it? What is the promo code? It is uh, cute. I don't have my glasses. You need to go to audibletrial.com/slash America. Thank you for forward minutes. slash. Forward slash. Forward slash. Thank you. Okay. I'm sorry. All right. I'm sorry. I'm not perfect on the show like you, Ray. She's professional. Mm-hmm. And she just got her hair. Who cuts your hair every week? Can you uh, shout out to your <laughs> hair? Yes. Uh, her name is Takesha Perkins. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing at a black man? Why does that <laughs> Did I say to she, I meant to say Takia. She's going to kill me. Oh. Okay. But she sounds but nice. she, But she, she cuts but me up But they be giving them well. some she names. <laughs> yeah, she skills. cuts me up good. And I was like, she I'm really going out does. this. She really does. The hair is beautiful. Yeah, she cuts me up very well. And every time she, okay, I had a full beard. And I had some shit going on on top here. <laughs> and then she swung me around the chair and, you know, she lined me up. And when she swung me around the chair, I was like, God damn, I look good. I'm going out this weekend. I went out last night. I don't remember much from last night. I guess I had a good time. Thank yeah. you, Takiya. Thank you, Takiya. Did you wake up? I, don't, I just realized I don't want to know the answer to this. <laughs> Did you wake up fully clothed? I had on my underwear. Okay. Ray. Was there blood but in you the underwear? Never, but, uh. you, but you know, I got the front flap, so I could have just pulled it out and did my business. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Eric, do you know how I was got home? Was your door locked? My door was locked. Okay. Okay. So that means I did walk in by myself. Most likely. And I had my keys. Most likely. I, I, I'm just trying to piece together. Okay, if anyone <laughs> saw like me out at Charlie's between midnight <laughs> and I don't know when, if you please evidence. let me know how I got home. Please. You could have committed witnesses. a crime last night. I probably night. could. There might be a body under the bed. There might be. You better check under your house to see if there is anything under there. I ain't Jody Arias. Oh, and she got convicted oh, this that's week. that's right. That was amazing. And you know what? You know what? what's crazy is? I just feel so bad for those little white girls. They were in that house, and that black man, he had to put down his <laughs> McDonald's. He well, said I thought we were McDonald's. talking about Jody Arias. That's what I thought. You went and just <laughs> took it to a whole other level, didn't he? I thought I was about to ready to go into this story. And he Jody started talking Ar- about these white girls. Oh, let me go back then. Jody Arias. That was insane. Because when they were doing that reading at work, what do they do when the court comes out? What is that called? The judgment. Reading the verdict. The, the, the verdict. Verdict. <laughs> 
the verdict. Verdict. And you went to college. Uh, yes, I have a degree. Yes. I'm no, still paying they, on it. When they when they read the verdict, <laughs> yeah. the people in our office went crazy. Crazy women, happy or crazy? Yeah, at least white women are in. This is another reason why you stay out of white mm. people's shit. They don't even know this white girl, and they are happy she's going to die. That's crazy. Well, I mean, hello. She stabbed him 30 times, slit his throat, and... And shot him. She was pissed off. She was looking for anything in that house to kill that motherfucker. Yeah, but Ray, stay in your lane. Let the courts do their business and stay in your lane. That's why, you know, he was more, you got to be careful who you give the coochie to. Because mm-hmm. you don't know if you're going to walk away, that may be the last time you walk away. Mm-hmm. She was like, baby, go take a shower. I got something for you. And she killed the fuck out of him. Okay. The fuck? She killed the he, fuck out of him. If he her. comes back to life, I mean. She he, was probably trying to revive him. It's like, I want you to see me killing you. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. It was. Mm-hmm. What do you feel about that? Um. Uh, that's pretty much how I feel. I, I hate how it becomes entertainment and yes. then all these stupid people. details. People like yeah. it's the salaciousness. It's Just sad. glad it's, it's over. It's very Put sad. her in jail. And that's how I feel too because his I, family has suffered enough. Yeah, He's, and I he was able. He was able to the electric chair. Yeah. I want to see her fry. You do? Yeah. I mean, that was that was extreme. She went. She drove past, okay? She could have just killed him and just left it alone. Mm. But she had to overkill him. Well, I just hope you didn't kill nobody last night. You oh, don't we'll remember. See. We'll see. <laughs> We're going to have to call Murder She Wrote uh, to solve any crimes. If you never find a body, then that means I didn't do it. <laughs> mm. Mm. No. All right. in Alabama. All right. All right. Secret's in the sauce. Secret is in the sauce. Mm-hmm. That's oh. a reference to fried green tomatoes, mm-hmm. if you don't know. It I is. did not. Yes. You, you haven't seen that movie? I have not. Seen that? Tawanda. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh, miss, people come up missing every day. We need to have a movie night. That is, and I'm that's a, a reference to that movie, Dolores Claiborne. What's my favorite? Oh, that's a good one too. Because like, people die every day. Yeah, that's they a good die one. every day, and that tells your person that you're with. I like to watch that movie with my boyfriend. boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I turn that shit up loud. Oh, oh, people, people die, die every day. day. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm. We do need to have that movie night. I've been trying to get a movie night together for I don't Didn't know I, how long. I was talking about this this today when I was yes. sobering you up at breakfast. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that cheeseburger was not good. Really? No, it was too, it was a, a preformed, pre cooked patty. And you, I like my shit to have. That. I wanted to try that goat. Okay. <laughs> oh, really you want to eat nacho, my I friend nacho? nacho? I bet you that was some good ass You meat. drunk, Viking, <laughs> motherfucker. I, really I, I bet you that was some good taco. It was some good tacos. Because taco. uh-huh. it was seasoned just mm-hmm. right and it had the peppers. Oh, I can't and you played with him and got pets. him all tender. <laughs> That's what they did. You got him tender, and then they said, mmm. That must have gonna be real nice and soft. We're gonna mm. eat that. Were they all just like watching you? Like, yeah. <laughs> oh. It was sad. It was a very sad day. Back for to me. the topic at hand movie night. Yes, movie. I was saying, let's have a movie night at my house. And I would make it like a drive in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How would you make it like a drive in, Jim? I don't know. I haven't figured that part out. <laughs> I'm not that smart. But you Obviously have that big drive sofa. Up. You have that big, comfy sofa. Yeah, I just think maybe move it back and just bring pillows or something. I don't know. It'd be fun. I don't know. We could do K. <laughs> no. I'll, I'll I wouldn't even know where to get that. I, would, I don't even I know. I can to find get out. Um, Look how innocent I am. I don't even know how to get that uh, shit. Uh, I can find out. Uh, I'll make the oxtails and the chitlins. Oh, mm-hmm. have you had chitlins before? I don't. I've seen them. And I've smelled them, but no, I've not. They're ingested. good. My mom brought some when she came to visit. She I thought did? oxtail was yeah. a joke. Is that for real? Too? No, it's no. Real oxtail. oxtail soup is good. Oh. It's a tail of an ox. Yes, it is. Or a beef or something. I don't know. The meat is tender. Use a bone. You no, know, because there's a lot of bone on it. Yeah. But you put a bunch of them in, and she puts them in. Bridget put them in the slow cooker. Black Bridget put them in the slow cooker with her, <laughs> her seasonings, a little bit of vinegar. And I ate that shit at my desk at work. Yes, I did. I was the Negro in the corner <laughs> eating oxtails and, and you know drawing what? doors. And I bet them soup coolers were making some <laughs> big ass noises. <laughs> <laughs> them soup uh, coolers were in overdrive that day. Oh I'm God, sure yes of it. <laughs> you know soup coolers? I Lips. Don't. That's black people talk. I don't know what that is. I just learned what <laughs> nigger toes were. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, what That's what they know, I thought, nuts. Br- no, the Brazilian nuts. Brazilian nuts. And, and I, we always oh. call them nigger toes at our house. Uh-huh. And then I went, and then you know That's how you find up. out? You go, and I go, hey, do you guys, it's Christmas time. Where are the nigger toes? And everybody looked at me what? like I was out of order. You know, when I found out, I went to kind work. Of are. <laughs> when I went to work and I found out what it was, and I went to all the white people, I was like, do you know what nigger toes are? Do you know what they call Brazilian toes? I, like, I can't say what it is. I can't say what it is. I'm like, you racist motherfucker. Because you know what? You know, That's the thing, Ray. The whole world is racist mm-hmm. you just gotta admit it know. i've never heard that you never heard I you never heard too. nigger toes no. the brazilian no. nuts no. then you don't know nuts like <laughs> we know, <laughs> we nuts. know nuts. brazilian nuts but not 
that term useful? Well, when you live in the, the you racist. Need to to, you need to go to the south side and ask for some nigger toes. I'm going to take it to 16th right Street that. and Rouser. You know what? Go on the streets looking for those. Speaking of movie night, we do have a segment that we have a new one that we're testing out, correct? Isn't it called movie night? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's just still called straighten it out. Oh, okay. Oh, right. straighten it out. Who, 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 do, who want, do you want me to do the intro proper? Please. Okay. Bring it up proper. But can I just see the oh name of the... God. Do I have any copy to read or anything? No. Okay. So it's <laughs> movie do. night. Straighten it out. Straighten it out. <laughs> okay. All right. Give me some music. <laughs> In a world... Can I get some more music? I was off key. <laughs> can I get a little You're bit more doing music? Great. Okay. Can I go... In a world where life is sometimes not enough, where you need a little drama from your mama, where you need a little <laughs> comedy, when you need a little sadness, we go to the movies and we call this segment Straighten It Out with Nate, where he talks about the movies. Hit that music one time and give it to him. Thank you. Thank you. These are movie reviews of movies that are out now that I have not seen. <laughs> so I'm just going to make some assumptions. Um, I love this already. I love it already. This is good. It's number 42. You're familiar with that. That's the Jackie Brown story. Jackie Brown, God. Jackie Robinson. (laughs) (laughs) Jackie Brown is a Tarantino movie. Jackie Brown. That's a great movie, though. That's another. That's a black exploitation movie, though. Yeah, it's a black exploitation. But you know what? Some good movies. That 42, though, that does sound good. Yes. So shout out to Pam Greer. Because I I love Pam Greer. I'm not speaking into the mic. So we got Jackie Robinson. It's That's a story of him being the first black uh, yeah. baseball player. Can, can my friend Ray Nate please appreciate talk? It. Appreciate I you. don't believe I sabotaged your segment. Yes. Because <laughs> you rip off the microphone. <laughs> Other people use that <laughs> when we leave. That's why you don't do Viking oh. and Tina Turner. When she tried to kill herself, that's exactly how she looked. <laughs> uh, my, uh, 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 uh. There's okay. something wrong with Tina. Okay. I, I, and, and what you take? Oh, right. Go Nate. I'm sorry. Okay, go Nate. 42. This seems like a good movie. I'll go see it that with you. It seems one of those heartwarming things, yeah. and um, it might be. But my thing is, people talking, I don't know how much you know about the baseball steroid thing, but it kind of ruined baseball for a while, like Mark McGuire and right. Barry Bonds hitting, and then everybody found their own steroids. And they, they're still cheating today. And I hate to be the one to say this, y'all, but um, Jackie Robinson was the first cheater. <gasps> they made a big movie about him, made him a big hero. Oh, here and, it comes. Get ready for some he bullshit. he was the first cheater. Because he was, I mean, he was the first black dude in the league. He was playing with a bunch of other white dudes. I mean, don't tell me that's not a competitive advantage. It is. That does, that's not fair. They didn't even let any brown people in yet. No brown people. It's just him and a bunch of <laughs> stupid, skinny white people. Do you hear that people. shit? Because I'm, he's brown, that put, he's cheating because he's black. Well, they, they are stronger. And faster. <laughs> and the hand-eye coordination. Got let the quick twitch and everything. Let me just say this. Let me just throw out Jackie Robinson's records. That's what I'm saying. Let me just say this. Can I say this? I don't know the baseballs. I don't know the baseballs, but I got Obviously. two quick things. I used to live in St. Louis when Mark McGuire was hot. Remember her. Mark McGuire? Yes. And I he is cute. Do you know who this Mark McGuire is? He's yes, ginger he's hot. got some big I know. Too. Well, anyways, Ooh. I worked good in, for fisting in Gun the show. part of town where he had this business or whatever. And so I would I I would walk down the street and one day I bumped into this man and he was huge. Oh. And then I go, Oh, I'm so sorry. So he goes, that's okay. That's okay. And then he took me and he kind of moved me aside and I was in love. Oh. I melted oh. and I'm like, who? And then people were <laughs> taking pictures and I'm like, who's that man? And they're like, <laughs> That's Mark McGuire. And I'm like, I don't know who that is, but he is fine. <laughs> can, can I say, God damn. That's my first baseball thing. Mm-hmm. And the second thing is I don't get sports. I don't get why straight people fight over the ball. Share the ball. Why you got to fight over the ball? <laughs> but anyways, uh, that Jackie thing Balls. that was hard because he was the first black. That's hard. That's like President Obama being the first it's black way president. Than that. I know exactly how he feels because I'm the first black on this show. I know exactly <laughs> how he feels. <laughs> yes, oh, I know exactly how it feels. It's a lot of pressure. We're breaking barriers, but you're We're when knocking you're the, down walls. When you're the colors. first, everybody's looking at you, and you got to do everything yes, right because yes. whoever comes <laughs> after you, they're going to yes. judge you. Exactly. I know. They read. I know. Okay. But you know, he seemed like he was a very classy man. Is he that was. how the, is that no, how the film depicts him? Mm. Yeah, like the big line in the movie is is uh, uh, he's like, I had to find someone that was strong enough not to fight back. So he had to yeah. really keep it. 
his head and That's the shoulders. thing about Obama. Whether you like him or not, at least he handles his shit with class. You know what I mean? When they get crazy and they come for him, he handles it with class. Whether you like him or mm-hmm. not, history will show that. The shady one is Michelle. When that guy, the house, the speaker of the house at the inauguration dinner, when he was trying to be all cute with her after he's been causing all this shit to Obama and she was eating her salad. Oh, yeah. He's over here trying to talk to her. She's like, mm-mm. Not to, not not to, doing it. Not on tonight. Not tonight. We're not, not doing tonight. this tonight. My man is the president. Right. And my man will take your shit, but okay. I'm not looking at she you. Will she will fuck your credit up. She will. Mm. She's not afraid to go diva. The only thing she was serving that night was bangs. <laughs> That's what she was saying. Uh-huh. But Jackie Brown. I took you away. I took you off point. Jackie Robinson. Jackie ja- Robinson. Oh, Jackie. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's probably an uplifting movie. If you like sports, go see it. But um, oh, we were still talking about probably that something better you could see. Um, Oblivion. How do you guys feel about Tom Cruise? He's some bullshit. I he fuck him. <laughs> fuck He's him and Jodie Foster for not ego. coming out all the way. You know what? Oh. They can Don't keep them Jodie Foster again, please. Yes. Oh, uh, I hate that. If you're gay, be gay. You know what I'm saying? I just don't like lesbians. I'm like, you know, Joey. <laughs> <laughs> this I is just, a gay and lesbian show, and he didn't mean it like that. Man, I, I just Foster. don't get it because you know I'm driving down Zone one day, and I was like, <laughs> all these lesbians outside, and I'm just like, oh, why don't they like dick? You know, yeah. I love it, don't you? Right, and you just felt you? shame. No, no, no I'm good. you thank just felt good. shame. You drove by. No, and thank you. Jodie Foster is not in this movie, but <laughs> oh well, I don't know. I didn't see it. Let's talk about the Great Gatsby. Oh, that I, soundtrack sounds amazing. I don't oh, like Jay Z, but that soundtrack. Jay Z's on the Cadsby soundtrack. Is he on? Yeah. I have no yeah, idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that, I don't know anything well, about it. Now, so I crossed it out. I'll play it when I watch the movie. <laughs> mm. All I know is Leonardo DiCaprio's in it, and it's a big old. He never epic makes a movie. bad movie. He never makes a bad movie. Did you see the beach? That was kind of weak. Was it? But no, he's he's usually in, picks good shit. I've no, I've been watching Leonardo DiCaprio since he was on the Growing Pains. But mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. the Tom Cruise movie basically aliens took over the world, and he's. I'm guessing gonna save it. So yeah, I like Morgan like, Freeman. Mm-hmm. He's in that. Yes, he's in it. Oh, okay, so he's. Tom How are you gonna do movie reviews and not know that's all what the people? I, that's what. The, I don't that's know what, what the that fuck was fuck a I'm segment, about. Gene. Oh. You forgot already. Let me talk about this movie that pisses me off. Stay in your off. lane. Stay in my lane. Stay in your lane. All the elephant tranquilizer fucks you up. Mm-hmm. Let me talk about this thing that's pissing me off. The stupid movie Big Wedding. My boy Robbie De Niro, Robbie D, with Diane Keaton. That's a great cast, right? Yes. You, and so. Have you seen the birdcage? First of all, it's ripping off the birdcage. I do, but let me put you on pause just for a moment because Ray is giving me those eyes because Ray has to um, go. I'm serving up towel realness today at Bed Bath & Beyond. You can see me. The show will be continued there. Okay. That's all right. Okay. Well, you know what? Thank you so much for coming in. And your friend, too. And Sean Short mm-hmm. Welcome to Arizona. We know you're from Austin, Texas. We appreciate you coming here. Spend lots of money because we're broke. You're living here for, sh- for good. Now, what is your name? Emmanuel. 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 Give it. Can I have some applause for Emmanuel? He's new to Arizona. He's what we call fresh meat, and I'm sure he'll be popular mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. with the boys. And you are gay, right? I saw them big soup coolers. You are we know doing a brand gay. new interview? Or no, saying? we're not doing an interview. Ray, we thank you so okay, much for okay, coming. Okay, thank okay, you so okay, much. I love you all. I love you all. Okay, I we love you. you. Hey, thank get you for the fuck out. Okay, I'll go. Bye, 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 bye. bye. Well, we appreciate you coming on short notice. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Mm-hmm. So, Nate, it's me and you and Ernesto in, in the the pokey because Sheriff Joe done raided the comedy club and took our friend Ernesto. Look at him. The only thing we hear from Ernesto is this. <laughs> okay, so they're leaving. Bye. Let me talk about this movie that's pissing me off. Yes. Okay, because I already know how it ends. I will put money on this. Big wedding. Robert De Niro, Dan Keaton play a divorcees. They used to be married. Oh. Their son's getting married, so they're going to pretend like, you know, they're married for all intents and purposes. Haven't we seen this movie before? Exactly. And what pissed me off is A, it was better done The Birdcage with Nathan yes. Lane and Robert. I love or, that um, movie. Have you sorry. seen that movie? I of love course. that movie. Yeah, I love that movie. And um, but there's obviously what's pissing me off is at the end. There's no way you know they're going to get back to. It. They're going to fall in love after acting like a couple again. Right. And I'll tell you exactly the last shot of the movie. The son is zooming in. He's finally getting married, and you know everything's happy. And they're zooming in, and he's taking off that little veil, and they close up and they kiss. And I'm there's spinning around. Okay, the camera spins and it zooms back out, and it's Robert De Niro and Diane Keaton. They got married again a year later. I guarantee you that's how the movie is. Uh, Predictable just, piece of shit with two great actors. Two great actors. Are you kidding Why me? Are they, do- they got a shitload of money. 
So they shouldn't need it. I mean, they shouldn't need it. Pick a better movie. I think so too. Cookie you cutter bullshit. It reminds bullshit. me of like uh, that one where they're where it's either a boy or a girl where they're seventeen and they become adult, like big. You know how they redo yeah. that thirteen again, or isn't that what it's called? Well, There's they keep a bunch re- of those. They keep redoing Jennifer that. Jennifer Gardner and Zach. Yeah, uh, quit doing that. Boring, yeah. And you know what? That's the thing about Hollywood. That's why I don't even like cable anymore. Because the movie, you never go go to the movies because you look right. at what's so good at the movie. Oh, nothing. <laughs> there hasn't been a good movie at the movie since 19 never so you know mm-hmm. what I mean since like I would say probably movies stopped being good I want to say maybe like in the 80s maybe they're desperate they're maybe making like maybe a team and bringing G.I. Joe's back I like mean, that it, was a cartoon I know it just seems like they were always cranking out good movies like Gone with the Wind yeah. you know what I mean all these good movies and then <sighs> it's bullshit it's few and far between and then they make a shitty movie make three sequels of it I know the Fast and Furious Eight, eight, 18 coming out. No, that's my shit. Now that's another movie. Now that's that's a good movie. That right <laughs> really? there. That is you a go with the Van Diesels. Oh, the Van Diesels. And you know the other one, Jason Stratham's. Jason he's, Statham. Well, however you say that white boy's name, I don't even know how to say. It. The he's, British guy he, with the boldness. He's the just so shirt. fine. He's always angry and he's fighting and it's saving the, the world. Transporter. Yes, 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 okay. yes. I like that one. I like that one. Yeah, I like the James right. Bonds. Daniel Craig rocks it. Uh, I think so too. I think those are quality action movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah they yeah. still make some decent ones, even though. But they're not going to blow you away. No. You know Have you seen that Daniel Craig in the one where he? Uh, it's about the house where he kills the family, and then he, it turns out he's the killer. No. Well, that's a good one. Uh, so that yeah, next movie is Mud. Mud. What's that? With Matthew McConaughey. Uh, he's a drifter with a dangerous past. Now, this one I might want to see just because really? only because he has that southern accent. And right. um, I'm not I'm straight, but I'm kind of gay from Matthew McConaughey yeah. since Days and Confused. And that I just want to hear him say that word, the title. Mud. Have you seen him in uh, uh, say The mud. Paperboy? No. That's a really good movie. And it takes you someplace you don't expect. Is he a paperboy? No. Uh, I, I'll give it away if I tell you. But you should see it. It's a really good movie. And it takes you somewhere where you don't think it's going. And mm-hmm. he's southern in there. Oh, okay. Well, you know who else is in Mud? Who? Mud. I wonder if that's his nickname. They call me Mud. And I'm going to take my shirt off. But who else is in that movie is Reese. Don't you know who I am? I'm an American. Witherspoon. I'm going to mess with your American <laughs> rights to arrest my husband. That bitch is crazy. I oh, want to get drunk with her right now. I swear to God. You know, she would do Special K with me. She probably she would. She probably would. And I know Ernesto is Special right Kai. now dying. He's like, you guys quit talking about drugs. And we're not promoting drug use. I'm not no. I'm not promoting drug use. We're just making wild assumptions about people that may do it. I'm just saying that back in the day, the shit was fun. I don't remember anything. What was like I supposed to, to do? George Bush stole the election and he becomes mm-hmm. president. What was I supposed to do? Be you cognizant know? of all that? Fuck that. Take me away, Kelgon or Elephant Tranquilizer. <laughs> I'm leaving this motherfucker. I'm out. You know, life is short. Life Get is short. Get it in. You know, um, stay in your lane. This is movie. I'm just this title alone pisses me off. The Place Beyond the Pines. The Place? That already tells you it's a pretentious piece of shit movie that's trying to scream, take me seriously. Yeah. Furthermore, there's three actors that just want to be taken seriously, namely Ryan Gosling, Bradley Cooper, and Ava Mendes, who I like them all, but they're all just way too good looking. And yeah. They're just desperately ch- going to be overacting in this movie, trying to get nominated for awards. I mean, I don't. he's fine, though, Ryan Gosling. He's, he's, he's so a pretty man. Oh, beautiful. Would you be gay for him? I would. I know, I know, I know. Because <laughs> he looks like you would make love with him, and then he would like draw you a bath and pour you a cup of tea, and then pound you real hard. <laughs> oh God. There's so many awesome Ryan Gosling memes out there. That's sort of like, "Hey girl, mm-hmm. I brush, I got your new hairbrush." <laughs> Some stupid <laughs> shit. He's probably a lazy lover with bad breath. I don't I know. So. <laughs> they, they always trick you. The cute ones. That's why you don't fuck around. I'm just telling you as a man, you don't fuck around with the pretty ones because they're fucking annoying. They, they be have issues. They be too. They be tripping. The pretty ones be mm, tripping. They got issues. You know what I mean? Their breath is stinky or something. They got ugly feet. Something. I don't know. I can't be fucking. Girls with them. be the same way. You know? Do they do? I li- yeah, because you can tell if they're just too high maintenance. Right. And they just have been told they're the shit from the day they yeah. came out and got born and uh, just have no sense. You know, what? as a gay man, I'm gonna tell you this. I yes. love pretty women and I love it. Like, if I come to a door and you come to the door, I'm gonna open it for you if you're a pretty girl. Sure. And if you say thank you or not, I don't give a shit. You're pretty. I believe pretty girls should have a little bit more rights. <laughs> I, I do, know. and I'm gay, and I believe it. I believe I'll pull. I'll pull more rights. No, I believe it because a good pretty girl. Uh, should I mean, ugly girls not be able to vote? Th- Ugly girls get on my fucking nerves. 
Because <laughs> here's the thing. They come up to the door and they're like expecting me to hold the door. I'm like, bitch, you heard a woman's lib. We're equal. You hold the door for me, bitch. But if I'm going to open the door, for, at least say thank you. If I'm going to, if you're on the road and maybe you're trying to make that impeccable left turn where you're going this way and all, and I'm going to stop and I'm going to help you, at least wave to me, ugly fat bitch. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, I hate fat girls. I hate fat girls who do not know that they are <laughs> ugly and fat. Oh, the uh, double combo? Poor ooh, things. They like, don't know. They act like they're cute. No, bitch. No, you don't get the same mm-hmm. rights. Mm-mm. Wow. You, I took us off topic. No, no. <laughs> furthermore, yeah. I like how you use the word furthermore. I just think people don't <laughs> use that enough. So you're biased towards pretty girls versus ugly and fat ones. I love a good girl that's put together with cute hair, cute shoes. She can live her life. Because you know what? Black, white, Asian, whatever. You know, if she's cute, I'm gonna go do your thing. Stay in your lane. I'm I'll not gonna mess with you. For yeah. all women, but if I, I don't like holding a door for a couple because the guy's got to get that door. Ugh. And I'll even like speed up. I'm like, I'm not getting the door. You, you know what I man. hate? Every morning <laughs> I get I I work on uh, the third. We go into this parking garage. It's on the third level, right? And we have to take it up. And so you get into the lift. And so you're running a little bit late. And so you're running towards the lift. And you run in and you get in. And then you see some fat girl. Oh, always the same. Oh, that's a walking slow <laughs> bitch walk faster you know you should be eating a linguine today Eat, oh. walk. but they don't they just and so you hold the door because you know i'm a gentleman i'm raised proper so i hold the door for them and then they see their friend hold on i'm gonna let my friend come in bitch uh, i'm late the for the work i'm the practically on time deal. every day <laughs> that's right you are. practically on time anyways <laughs> you don't feel that pretty girls should get extra rights um, almost the opposite. It depends really? if they're re- like really, really pretty. Like and really, and I've seen some really. You, it's possible to really, really pretty and be a nice person. You, but it is. Most of the times, I see if you're like a ten, if you're a dime, you're probably a bitch too. Really, and I'm not gonna be a part of like bending over backwards for you like the rest of the world you know what i love i love these uh because at the comedy club we get sports stars that come in you know and yeah. they, they bring these beautiful women that love being a woman they do it and they are nice and you know they're nice because they want something mm-hmm. but i appreciate that i say go do your thing you know what i mean That's i love right. that but if you're fat and, and i guess i was thinking the other day this fat bitch got up from the chair and i saw her <laughs> pussy because she didn't wear no underwear uh. I'm like, oh god this is too much. This is why I'm gay, bitch. Oh my god, I took it somewhere. Furthermore, <laughs> let's go back. No, I think I'm good with movies. Plus, we're we're low on time, but um, yeah. I'll go one more actually. Yes, yeah, so because this is, this this I feel passionate. You get yourself. <laughs> These are two movies that are not new, but um, Sidekick. Do you remember the movie Sidekick with Who, who's in it? Chuck Norris and the late Jonathan Brandis from the Fuck 90s. Fuck Chuck Norris, always wanting to be a Republican. Fuck him. And Goonies. Fuck him. What do these movies have in common? Goonies. I love Goonies. The characters, the main characters, had asthma. And as an <laughs> Asian who has asthma, I'm offended. Like It's just stereotyped throughout. Think about all these movies. Hollywood, <sighs> asthma equals dork and weakness right. and like not getting any right. and all, all these negative things. There's no cool dude that Except does asthma. Except for Jackie asthma. Chan. But does he have asthma? No, he doesn't. He's oh. just Asian. <laughs> That's but, all I, um, yeah, I don't the, know Asian men because you know why here's the thing I once dated an Asian guy but the sex was terrible because his asshole was sideways and I'm just saying really? there's too much really uh, anyways go ahead <laughs> I cut you off I his asshole was sideways <laughs> like they're pussies for the girls <laughs> <laughs> I don't know I wouldn't hold the door for her so the younger brother in the Goonies and he, the only way he gets some is when he's in the dark and his brother's chick thinks it's his brother, but it's really him. And he gets some, um, and he's like, he can't even take it after. He's just like, puff, <sighs> like, I can't even take it and kiss. I'm putting in a stand. Motherfuckers, it's a respiratory disease. Right. Okay, it is not right. something to be made fun of. Right. And I think Screech had in, uh, <laughs> asthma as well. And you know, I love Saved by the Bell. That's my shit. That is my shit. I've seen every episode. I, you know, I was going to do a bit on uh, there's never enough time. There's <laughs> never enough time. Time. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I love that. I'm so but scared. When I do that in comedy workshop, nobody gets it. Oh, nobody my, gets I, that. I don't know. Jesse Spano. What, then the, Sh- that that there's a drug problem with caffeine pills. Like, how dumb know, is that? I know. <laughs> that well, was she like was booty bumping it. Episode. She was booty bumping it. She was trying to study, and they had a girl group going. Mm-hmm. Really? They but had a did girl you ever group? see her in Showgirls? No, that's a movie. I oh, love yes. that movie. I love I it when, she, when she's going to go kick that guy's ass, and she does her hair. 
puts that lipstick on it and picks up the phone. Oh, that's like, that's, that's some one shit. of those classic movies that's not trying to be funny, but it's just hilarious. Every five minutes is a fucking dumb line. I love it. Yeah. And we're down to our last two minutes that we have here. So let me just say that we'll be at the comedy yes. spot um, next weekend. And um, you can come there anytime. It's Scottsdale's oldest comedy club where you can get real drinks, real fun, real laughs. If we've Ernesto had, was here, he would be plugging his show. And let me see if where it is while you talk. Yes, yeah, okay. so we've had some great shows at the comedy spot lately. Uh, I just think the crew there is... is been consistent everybody's growing and, and it's just been a really good uh, place to be lately also for our sister's show we got to show some love to the gayborhood friends with uh, Ophelia Buns and I love her. Bryce I love and them yes. um, also their guest is going to be a uh, Ty Rivera which I'm sure is going to be hilarious and entertaining so check that out shout out to them it is our sister show I can't find Ernesto but you can look at Ernesto's Facebook and it will tell you where he'll be performing I know he has a, a Mexican show that is if he gets out of jail Ernesto we loved having you on the show today you, you talked a lot you did great Ernesto you did great you're really agreeable you're today. so funny Ernesto Ernesto the chair is empty but not our heart <laughs> we love you we miss you that's the comedy you're giving right now. Crickets. Yes. We miss you, Ernesto. Also, this uh, next month, June 13th, it's a Thursday at 7. I will be at the comedy spot opening for a comedian that I can't remember his name, but he's white and he's hilarious. <laughs> in the industry, um, we call him very funny. Yes, in the biz. Yes. In the biz. It's an inside term. Thank you guys so much for listening. As always, this is the number two show on Q Talk America, and we appreciate all your support. Thank you guys so much. It's and been a very crazy show today. And you know what? If you want to get entertained and you've listened to all the uh, past right. episodes of Working It Out, go get yourself an audiobook at audio.com. Right. Thank you so it's much. 30 day trial, motherfuckers. You did it, Nate. We did it, Gene. We did it together. All right. <laughs> Who's working it out? I'm working it out. Yes, we are. Not Ernesto. Mm. Mm -mm. Free Ernesto. Free Ernesto.